Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm building for my wizarding save file again and this time I'm doing the Slytherin Museum. So as you can see already in the corners of the footage that I have, I did the same thing for Gryffindor, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff and dedicated a public lot to them and I always made the lot into the shape of the first letter of the house and as you can see I'm building an S and I decided that I would need a museum and that's what I'm building today and here you can see that I am doing the toilet for the public lot and I'm putting that in. I've already done the shell of the house. I did the landscaping outside and now I moved inside and I'm doing the toilet. And as you can see, I kept it gray and green or greenish because the colors for Slytherin are green and silver and because there's no really silver um, that you can really use I used a grey to mimic it a little bit and I decided to put in the waste bucket into the toilet as well and to complete the other requirements I first did the easels in the other end of the S and I put those paint trays next to them and then I put some sculptures down near the toilet in that end of the S and the uh, rest of the letter will be filled with paintings on the walls and I decided to use the ones that are quite long because they are there are several paintings that we have access to that have almost the same shape and I decided that that would look the best. And then I moved on to the seating for the guests of the museum so they can look at the paintings without standing the whole time so they can relax a little bit. And I did that for the paintings but also for the sculptures. But for the paintings I put them the couches in the middle and for the sculptures I put the seating against the wall and then I did the lighting for the whole lot and moved into the courtyards essentially and put some plants there so there's it's look it looks a little bit fuller and pretty, prettier and then I did the windows and for most of the build I used quite small ones but into the courtyard I decided to use large ones near the sculptures and where the painter's easels are I also used large ones because they let in more light and that is really good for painting. It's way easier to paint with natural light than with artificial light so I decided that would be a good idea. And then I put some seating into the courtyards as well and I also needed some tiling to go up to the stairs and I also wanted something for next to the seating in the courtyards so people can put some things on some tables and then I noticed that there is quite a large gap near the toilets and I wanted to put some plants there so I did that and I put some canvases near the painter's easels. Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is tggsims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Have a great week. Bye!